Hey there! Today I am going to do a tutorial on Super Impose. So for all you people who want to know how to make good Instagram photos or anything like that, keep watching this video to find out how to use it. The most important thing is to have something that you can use the app on. For me personally, I think the iPad is best just because it's bigger than the iPhone and it's a lot easier to use when you're touching it it's more accurate so then you need to make sure you add the app which is pretty easy, just download the app I'm just going to open the app on this so now you've got it open the first step is just to take a photo of yourself or anything like that or if you already have a photo that you want to edit just going to open it by this right here right at the top corner on the left right there and then on this side here it comes up with all your photos and that I use you to click on one you want to edit so just give me a moment okay I'm gonna use trousers so I'm just basically taking a picture of the trousers that I'm wearing I don't really need to crop it and that is my background and then I need to go into this option again at top and I choose new foreground the foreground is the bit where you're going to be putting on top the background you can't change really apart from making it black and white and all that type of stuff I've got this picture off the internet and I've just trimmed it down to the size which has no like sides around it if you know what I mean and there you go I've got a picture on it and then Go into transform, which is this one here. On transform, you can move the object around this one, and I tend to put it to the right side that I want. So now it looks a bit more easy to do. And just basically just drag it over where you want it. Okay, but then you move this transparency bit here, and you can see what's behind it. Then you go into masks, and on this bit you have all the options down the side if you're using the iPad, if it's not it'll be at the top. And basically I'm going to use the brush, this one here, you just tap on it to change it so it's got size, so like obviously the size you want it to be uh, smoothness like how smooth you want it to be around the edges and that and soft I tend to use soft for the edges so when I'm getting close to the edge I use that because you have to go over it several times to get rid of the whole thing and it's pretty good to use but for right now I'm not doing the edges so I can take soft off I can make it a biggish size because obviously it's not that hard to do. And then let's tap off it and just go around. Okay, simple as that. And then I make it smaller and I zoom into this bit here. And I'm just gonna go down the middle bit of your legs. On my legs. You can zoom in and out as you know on a normal photo. And there you go, and it's quite messy at the moment, but it's just giving you a general idea of what it might look like at the end. I then go onto the rubber, because you're going to rub back in the pieces that you want to put back in. It tends to take a lot of just like adding a bit and then rubbing out if you go over uh, that. If you do find it confusing about rubbing and putting it back in, you can invert it by this button here and it changes it. So now it looks like I've got an interesting background. I'm just gonna do the easy bits on this. Okay, that's the edge of that bit done. This seems to be going quite well. Go about going over again, like I said, you can just use the brush and use a soft part of the brush. to put it back in. 
I'm going to go back onto the brush and now I'm going to make it smaller because I'm going to go around the edge part and I want it to be quite smooth so I'm zooming in quite a lot and I'm just going to do this edge part here oops to do with it a bit bigger okay now I can see what I'm doing so I'm just doing the edge of this I mean you don't have to be perfectly neat because when you actually zoom back out it's not exactly the most neatest thing in the world keep doing this over and over again until I get what I want Okay, it's coming together quite well now. So now you can see I've just got a few little bits to put back on and it's done. Now I'm going to go back onto transform and just like change the transfer until I get what I want. Because that is a bit over the top. And I don't want it like really transparent, otherwise you can't really see it. So I go for that. You can tap on the normal part at the bottom and probably be in a different place. And as you can see in the bottom right corner there are a few things you can change. You can just like change it. And I just normally just go turn to go down them all and choose the one I like. Okay, so I've chosen the one I like. Alright, there's filters at the bottom right corner. And you can just do stuff with that. Um, you have different ones so you can have the foreground changed and you can change the background. So it's on the foreground which is the beat which you have changed. And you can just like change the hue. There we go. Saturation is like how bright it is I guess. And you have that so you can change the colours. Okay so I want to make it more red. You can see how it makes the red more, oh, more green. A bit more green, more blue, and more yellow. Let's go for blue. There we go. It's very messy now. And that is how I do an edit. And this thing go back onto home just to make sure it looks okay. You go onto this button and you tap on it. And you can save it to your library. You can put it on Facebook, you can put it on Instagram, Twitter. I have no idea what the end one is. I tend to save it as a high quality otherwise it don't look like good when you finished and you put all that effort in it doesn't look good so I tend to save mine to the library or you can just upload it straight to Instagram if you want to and that my friends is how you use super and pause thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video cheerio bye